In this video, you'll see the fall harvest of surplus honey frames from Russian bees. Russian bees are very frugal. They need fewer winter resources, and they overwinter successfully on fewer honey frames than the common bees with Italian genetics. And yet, Russian bees are good honey producers, and in my remote forest beehive apiary, I keep them treatment-free, and I leave them with sufficient resources of their own honey, and I never sugar feed them or exchange their honey for sugar. a good frame. Well, except on this side. It's a very thin uh, area for capped honey. We probably will take it and uh, harvest it. Let's see. There's some guards that are unhappy. This is a heavily purpleized frame. Oh, it's a heavy one. It's full of honey. It's full of honey. Well, it's about, well, on this side, on one side. And there's some uh, uncapped nectar on this side and some capped on the, on the top. We'll probably take this frame. Not very heavily profiled. Okay. Wow, this is like a nine pounder, probably. Wow, this side is full of kept honey. It's even hard. Yeah, this is a great frame. I should say that I will be taking it. This is what they say about the Russian bees being being more being more aggressive uh, but this is uh, this is this time of the season in the fall they have a lot to protect all bees will behave like this wow it, another incredibly heavy uh, frame a little lighter mm -hmm. but all honey frame uh, oh, I cannot hold it with one hand all honey frame there's like too many honey frames for, for them to winter on successfully. They create a lot of extra just-in-case storage to help them in spring. But I will be here to help them in spring if they need any help in spring. So some of this honey, some of the uh, uncapped nectar will be spent and stored for them for their spring feeding. These these are the champs. Another full honey frame. It's an <laughs> excellent looking frame. Uh, no brood. Uh, nothing. Wow. About eight pounds or so. Wow. Another full honey frame. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> you like... Okay. So this is a lighter frame already. Okay, all right. Okay, I can see that. That that's the that's the brood nest. This is their frame. Fine, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I promise. I'm not I'm not touching anymore. That's it. That's the last frame I'm on. What I did, I I saw brood. I'm not I'm not showing because because they don't want me to show it. But I saw a partially filled honey frame with about. Um, six inches of capped honey on top and there was brood under it so it's mid-october and brood such brood would be winter bees the long lived uh, bees that would be great for warming up uh, the queen in winter and i'm not interfering with that this is a great frame and i will leave one or two 
uh, honey frame on the side and we'll take the rest. We'll make it uh, a snug nest so that they can overwinter successfully here and not uh, have to heat air. Uh, an excessively large area. One, two, three, four, five, six. The question is, should I leave one or two? They are large colony. I think it's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'll leave two. I will now. It's boiling with bees. The, the number of bees here is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Yeah. So we're ready to take the rest. I'm, I have separated with the divider board. The bee nest I have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Eight frames. Of them, two or three are honey frames. Um, I will also leave them some frames uh, that are very partially filled, the initial frames, that I will uh, scratch the cappings. Scratch the cappings so that, that they can get to the nectar on one side and on the other side. And that would be their food for fall. And this would be on the other side of the divider board. I'll do the same to this frame. Uh, yeah, I will scratch the cappings so that they can access the honey easier. On this side and on this side. There are no flowers right now to forage. And this will be that too. And uh, I'm harvesting three frames here. They are about eight pounds each. Not bad. Uh, so I brushed the bees, well, first I, and I brush the bees. Look at this frame. It's a great frame, almost full of honey. It's, well, actually, no, it's not almost, it's just half. This one is half. So, this is about, weighs about six pounds or so. Okay. Shaking does not do anything bad to the bees. If anything, it just confuses them. What just happened? Founder. And the last frame to harvest the, the most full. And you can see, the most productive, the more productive, the more defensive. All right. At home, to put the mouse guard setting. Come on, people. People, this is mouse guard setting. I'm not doing anything bad to you. Okay, that's it. Mouse guard sitting on. We can finish up. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.